Hey everybody, this is Pam with Housewives of Frederick County and I'm going to do a quick audio tutorial on how to do a Facebook cover picture using PicMonkey.com. This is Screencast-O-Matic and this is what's allowing me to do this audio tutorial. It's a free service, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to minimize that. Actually, I'm going to close this shoot. Well, I'm already on PicMonkey.com, but that's how you get to it, but I also can get to it through a shortcut on my desktop. So it's www.pickmonkey.com and in order to do a Facebook cover photo you have to click on where it says create a collage. So click on that. PickMonkey is thinking right now. So once this comes up you look over here on the left hand side and the second little icon if you highlight it it says layouts. So you click on that and it gives you a choice of a bunch of different types of layouts. Uh, one of the choices is Facebook cover. Click on that. And I like to choose the last option, which is seven photos. Click on that. And then you click open to open up the pictures that you want to add to it. Mine is opened to already to where I wanted to get to the pictures that I wanted to add to the photo. So just highlight the first one. Click on the first one. Uh, hold down the shift key. And click on the last one that highlights all of the pictures <clears throat> and then you click open to open them up. Actually this picture right here is my other Facebook cover so we won't use that. So then you just click and drag the pictures over to the format that you want. You can move the pictures up or down to look the way you want them to look. Here's my little Halloween tutorial. Francis Scott Key at Mount Olivet Cemetery, one of the covered bridges, and my toasted pesto pine nut sandwich. So there is a collage, and this is kind of a little collage of what we've done on our blog, of some of the things we've done. Um, you can go back to this little icon that says background, and up here where it says spacing, you can slide this up or down, the higher you slide it, the smaller the pictures get and the bigger the frame gets. You can bring it all the way back down to zero and there's no frame at all. The pictures are as big as they're going to get. I like to have a little bit of a frame. You can also round the corners, so the higher you round them, the more of a circle they are. And the lower, or if you just bring it back down to zero, it, it just keeps them squares. Then in the color section, if you want to, there's a website. I already put it on here. It's html-color-codes.info. You can, if you scroll down here, you can pick a color here and it gives you the actual HTML code that you can put in. 34CEDC. Click on that. It gives you a different code. And what you do is you put that into this box right here to give you the exact color that you want. I'm sorry, this box right here. So if I want a certain color, let's say 719844, that gives me like a purplish type of color. Uh, any part of the photo, choose that color of the background. Enter. Let's try a different one. Um, 7C. 247A. Enter. And that turns it into a dark purple color, which I like. Um, so I will keep it at that color. It's It looks the way I want it to look. So now I can click Save. And over here it says Save Photo. And what I want to call it is Facebook Cover Photo. And I'm going to just replace this one. This was my old one. So I'm going to call it Facebook Cover Photo. And then click Save. It's saying it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And it's been saved. So if I go back to my pictures, which it's over here, pictures, and then blog, and then Facebook cover photo, it's right here. So now when I go into Facebook, right here, Housewives of Frederick County, this is the existing one. 
if you highlight over the Facebook cover photo you can find this where it says change cover so you click on that and you can upload a new photo this is the new photo I'm using click on that click open it's pretty much the same thing but I just wanted to show you how to do it and then save changes and that's it that's how you do a Facebook cover photo using PicMonkey and we would love for you to visit our site housewivesoffrederickcounty.com and see other things that we've done such as tutorials, crafts, recipes, um, just helpful housewife tips and we'd love for you to be a subscriber. Thanks a lot and have a great day.